I'm someone who likes to listen to music and podcasts while I work out or even just go about my day. However, I've always found it a tad annoying to do so while wearing conventional headphones. The cable would get caught up on doorknobs, tables, gym equipment, or even my own body. Adding to that, they can limit my range of motion, which led me to seek out a Bluetooth headphone solution. A quick search in stores turned up options that varied in price from $75 on the low end all the way well past $200. It was at this point that I turned to AliExpress for cheaper options available. And cheaper options there were. Behold, the $6 Canadian Bluetooth headset. Myself, being skeptical of the quality in both build and importantly sound quality, I decided $6 was a small enough risk to take. So I bit the bullet and after about a month or so they arrived in the mail with free shipping. Opening the plain bag package, they're in a simple blister pack that managed to protect the headphones from the hands of the mail courier. The pack includes the headphones themselves, a mini USB cable, and instruction sheet. Featuring a guy with a fucking sick back tattoo. The first impression of the product is very positive. Featuring a sturdy plastic and rubber construction with buttons for rewind, play, pause, and fast forward at the back where you'll also find the charging port. Pairing is a simple task. By pressing the middle play pause button for 3 seconds, it will turn the unit on, at which point you will be notified with Power on! Followed shortly by Ready to pair! These are actual samples of the audio. One is much clearer than the other. Much like any other Bluetooth product, pairing is then completed through the phone settings. At which point you will hear Phone connected! From then on, the product will be saved in the phone settings and will pair automatically. Booting up my favorite podcast app, I was quickly blown away by how great the sound quality is. Having used earbuds of varying price in the past, I was expecting something similar to what you'd find at a Dollarama, but the sound on these is phenomenal. Unfortunately, it would be rather difficult to capture the quality of the sound through a recording, so you're just going to have to take my word for it. The controls of the back of the headphones all work as expected in controlling the play, pause, fast forward, and rewind, but they do lack a control for volume. With my workouts typically running between an hour to an hour and a half, I've yet to run into any issues with battery life, and I've yet to test for maximum runtime. Having used the headphones for a few weeks now, I have compiled a little bit of a list of pros and cons. First, the pros. The price. For $6 and free shipping, this can't be beat. Ease of use. The sound quality. While not a picky audiophile, I will say that they are fantastic sounding, while maybe some others may argue with me on that. The freedom. Being able to freely move without worrying and snagging a cable is great. And again, I can't stress the value these are for the price they are. Now for the cons. I will preface this list by saying this is more a list of minor annoyances I have run into, some of which aren't fault on the product at all, but none are deal breakers saying avoid these headphones. The jury is out on build quality. The only defect I have run into is a small plastic piece that has a habit of lifting off the back, which isn't a real problem. Comfort. Depending on how they sit in your ears, they can be a little discomforting after longer periods of wear. But, I have this problem with earbuds in general. I also have difficulty being able to lie down while wearing these. I sometimes like to lay on the couch or in bed catching up on podcasts. The unit makes it a little difficult to lay on your back or sides. Slow shipping. This isn't a fault on the product or vendor. It was sent out and left China within a matter of days. However, clearing customs, making its way to my door in Canada, is what took the longest stretch and the product is only tracked within China. It is stopped once it leaves. So if you're in a hurry, this may not be the best option. So there you have it. My quick review on my $6 Bluetooth headphones, which I highly recommend. That is, if you're a patient person like myself. Power off.